Hi, I'm Andy. Today in, in the Head Laboratories, we're going to cover tubeless fat tire installation. Got my BFD Ren, that's step one. Spend that money, it's worth it. Step two, you'll get a kit with the wheel. It's gonna have inflato bands. It's gonna have valve washers. You're gonna need those too. I'll show you how those work. <laughs> Instructions. <laughs> Might be a good idea to read them. Step one, put the stem in. Stem is not included with the kit. Let's stick it in here. That part's very self-explanatory. You put the stem in the rim. So you got your valve washer. What these things do, really they just gain you a little bit of space as you screw the nut down so that you're not trying to screw a nut right down onto the face of the rim. Put the washer on first before you put the nut on. Just squeeze that thing down in there. Sometimes you gotta screw it down. The little nut that comes with your stem, screw that thing down just like normal. Screw it on tight. And that part's done. One thing I like to do is just take a Sharpie, so I can get some pressure here, and get this thing on nice and tight. Step two, we're gonna get the tire on the wheel. I have had a couple customers call me and they were doing it wrong. I'm gonna show you how to do it right. The wheel goes inside the tire. Put the tire on the ground, put the wheel inside the tire. Once you got the wheel in, go ahead and get one side of the bead down into that drop section where the bead fits. A little bit like mounting a road tubeless tire, get it down in the smaller section of the rim. And one side's on. Now is the time when you wanna put the sealant in just like other mountain bike applications. You need a lot of sealant. Don't try and get away with a tablespoon. Your rim is way light enough already. A tablespoon is not enough. Pour a bunch in there. I usually pour in like a quarter cup of sealant. And then go ahead and get this side of the tire back onto the rim. Just like the first side went, keep the thing down the valley. Just push that bead over the lip drop it down into the V section there. So this thing's getting kind of bindy and here is where I'm going to explain why. I'm trying to push this bead on and it's not going very well. That's because I have the bead here up on the bead shelf not down in the valley. If you look right here you can see that the tires getting really close to the edge. It should be further away like it is down here. Do not use tire levers. This is a hand operation, no tire levers for installation or for removal. I'm gonna need a source of air. Got it. I usually put that valve down at the bottom. It just seems to work pretty well that way. Open up the valve, stick your air source on there. When I hit the valve here, I'm not getting any action. There are a couple things you can try to, to get over that. The first thing would be just to whack this tire, really squonk it. And that might just shock it up so you get a seal for a second. All you need is a second of seal, and then your air is going to take over and blow this thing up onto the rim. Clonk, 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 clonk. I'm up. Did you hear the snap? That was the bead going up onto the tire. Onto the rim. If your tire is not inflating, if you're just blowing the air past it and squonk and the tire doesn't work, you're gonna to need to use the inflato bands. The center section is also where you're gonna put those inflato bands if you've got so much air leakage on initial blow up that you can't get the thing to start. And that's a wrap.